Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to fix one of the Selenium exception types that occur during automation, that is session not created exception. So let's get started. First of all, when do we get this kind of exception? During Selenium automation, if you are using any browser driver executable file, which is incompatible with either Selenium version or browser version. In that cases, we'll get this session not created exception. Let me explain again in a detailed manner. Let's say for running your Selenium automation scripts, you are using some browser driver executable file. Say for Chrome browser, we have Chrome driver.exe. For a Firefox browser, we have Geekcode driver.exe. Such kind of browser driver executable files they have some versions, right? This browser driver executable files have some versions. If this browser driver executable file having some version is incompatible with either Selenium version or it is incompatible with some browser version itself, then in that case, we'll get this kind of exception known as session not created exception. Now, let me practically demonstrate one of the ways where we get this session not created exception. Let's say I'm using an incompatible browser driver executable, which is incompatible with this browser version that I will show you now practically guys. Okay, here we have this sample Selenium project, which is already created and configured with Selenium guys. Okay, this is a sample Java project, which is already configured with Selenium. As you can see, the latest version of Selenium as per today's state have used. Okay, so and we have the sample class is having the main method and here I am going to write the automation code. Let me write the automation code. Web driver, driver, I'm going to use the Chrome browser. So new Chrome driver, okay, like this and uh, import this web driver. You see over the mouse, import this again. Yeah, okay, over the mouse, import this Chrome driver class from Selenium, done. Now say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. I'll go to one sample application page. Uh, let's say I will use some internet Heroku or whatever it is. Uh, internet Heroku, some sample application I'm going to use. Copy this URL and paste it here. And uh, I simply want to print the title of this page. Okay. Driver dot get title. Driver dot get title. That's it. And after that, I want to quit the browser. Driver dot quit. Very simple automation script I have written, but for this particular script to run, I have to provide the path of the Chrome driver.exe file. That is a browser driver executable file I have to give, right? So, so how to give that? So here I'll get say system dot, okay, set property. Just take this one system dot set property here. I have to say web driver dot Chrome dot driver. Okay. And here I need to give the path of that Chrome driver.exe file. But that Chrome driver.exe file should be compatible with my browser version. So what is the Chrome browser version I'm using? Let me show you here. I'll go to this. I'll open this Chrome browser and just uh, click on this three dots. Say help and say about Google Chrome. Now you will get the browser version of this Chrome. So it's kind of up to date and it's giving me the Chrome browser version in my machine is 97.0.4692.71. Okay, so I need to download a proper Chrome browsers driver executable file for Selenium. Okay, from where? Selenium.dev. I'll go to the official website of Selenium, Selenium.dev. Click on the downloads. I'll scroll down to the browser section here. And here we have to see the Chrome and I need to click on this documentation. Let me click on this documentation. Now, once I click on the documentation, I'm taken here and here I see something known as downloads, all version available here in downloads. Click on that, it'll be taken to this page. So if I have to take a compatible Chrome driver executable file, okay, for my Chrome browser version, okay, it should be same, right? The Chrome browser version should match with the Chrome driver.exe file. So it is like a 0.71. Yeah, this one, right? 97.04692 and dot seven one. This one is compatible. Okay, let me download the compatible one first. Let me download this. 
So here Windows 32 bit version is there. Only in Windows, on, my machine is Windows, so I'll be downloading Windows. Since 64 is not there, I'm downloading the 32 bit. So let it download, guys. Let it download. Let's wait for this uh, Chrome driver zip file to get downloaded first. Yeah, it got downloaded. Let me go to the place where it got downloaded. This is the place. Let me extract this. Uh, let me extract this uh, zip folder now. I'll get that Chrome driver.exe file now. Okay. So let it extract, guys. Let it extract. Once extracted, we'll get that Chrome driver.exe file. See, I got this Chrome driver.exe file. Copy this. And here I'll create a folder at the same downloads location only. I'm creating a folder, guys, just to remember that this is a compatible compatible chrome driver version which was around uh, 97 and so on right that 97 thing okay i'm just giving some 97 here and uh, just go into this folder and paste it fine now come back and uh, delete this zip file and delete this uh, normal folder okay only this one having the compatible chrome driver.exe file is available similarly let me download one more chrome driver executable file of an incompatible version with my browser okay so here I have the browser version as this 97.0.4692.71 but from here i will download some other version let's say i will go with the 95 okay chrome driver 95 i'll go which is mismatching right with my browser version let me click on this it will take me to this page and from here i'll download again the chrome driver zip file but this is incompatible 95 point something is there but i want is my browser version is 97 point something so it got downloaded guys let me show in folder extract this again extract i'll get the zip file i'll get uh, this uh, chrome driver.exe after the zip file gets extracted this is the chrome driver now i'll create one more folder here guys uh, saying incompatible incompatible chrome driver version hyphen 95 okay my browser version is 97 point something but i am downloading the chrome driver exe file having 95 version which is incompatible unnecessary files zip files and all those stuff i'll delete guys okay so i only have these two folders now one is uh, incompatible another one is compatible okay so let me uh, go to my eclipse id here i need to give the path of that chrome driver.exe first i will give First, I will give this uh, compatible path. Okay, I'll give a proper one. Okay, compatible one. So right click on this, right click on this guys, and say show more options and say properties. Mine is Windows 11, so I have to say show more options. Otherwise, it will not come. So if you are using Windows 10, you will get the properties directly when you right click. Copy, copy this path, guys. Okay, this is the location, right? This is the location. So copy entire location. Control C and come here and paste this. Paste the location. Now say double backward slash followed by Chrome driver. In that folder location, we have this Chrome driver.exe file. Okay, I gave that. That's it. So this one is a compatible one. Okay, compatible Chrome driver version I gave you. See, compatible Chrome driver version I gave. Now if I run this script, it will work seamlessly without any problems. You will not get any exception. You will not get any session not created exception here. So it will work seamlessly. Okay, it will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, it will open this application URL in the browser, it will get this title of the page and print in the output, and then it will close the browser. Everything will happen seamlessly, you see, without any exception coming. Because this uh, Chrome driver version that I'm using is compatible with my Chrome browser version. You see, everything happened without any exception. You see, there is no exception here in the output. What if I update this path, okay? So here, instead of giving the path of that thing, I'll remove this path again and go to that place where I have downloaded and kept my incompatible version of the Chrome driver also. I'll go here and right click on this Chrome driver and say show more options and uh, properties and copy this path where this uh, incompatible version of the Chrome driver.exe file is available and come back here and paste it. And at the end, I will add double backward slash chrome driver dot exe that's it now this this time we have given the incompatible driver version which is incompatible with my browser version now if i run this code this time you should get that exception that is nothing but session not created exception 
let's run this and see. You see, you already got the exception, right? The script has not run. And instead of that, you got the exception that I am talking about that is session not created exception. Could not start a new session response code 500 session not created the version of the chrome driver that you have used is incompatible with the chrome browser version okay so your uh, chrome version 95 you have used that is incompatible so that's what okay that's what the message is there it, this whatever the chrome driver version chrome driver.exe file version you have used right that only supports the chrome browser version of 95 but your chrome browser version is 97 that's why it's not supporting and hence you got the exception it is saying so how to fix this exception one way of fixing this exception is to give a proper chrome driver.exe file of a compatible version that is one thing or okay if you don't want to take this headache there's one more way guys that is you can take the help of the web driver manager okay what is this web driver manager so what we have to do here is just go to this uh, mvn repository Let's say I'll, here I'll go to the MVN repository.com and here search for web driver manager. Okay, this will also solve the problem, guys. Either you have to give the correct uh, version, Chrome driver exe compatible version, you have to give, or you have to go to this uh, MVN repository and uh, search for this web driver manager and uh, click on this web driver manager, take the latest version as per date, and uh, copy this Maven dependency tags and go to your uh, Eclipse ID. Open the pom.xml file and here configure this project. Apart from configuring the project with Selenium Java library dependencies, you also need to configure this project with WebDriver Manager. This is something extra. Okay, WebDriver Manager is extra. Now save this. Okay, once copied this dependency, save this. The jar files for the WebDriver Manager will be automatically downloaded and uh, they will be configured in this project. Scroll, just close this. Now, instead of writing the system.set property where you have to manually uh, give the correct Chrome driver version or whatever it is, the driver version you have to give, right? Instead of doing that, simply type web driver manager dot Chrome driver. Okay, sorry, there is a mistake here. Let me remove that, save this once. So, let me write it again. Web driver manager dot Chrome driver Chrome driver dot setup. Okay, like this you have to write this. You don't have to do anything, guys. Okay, web driver manager will take care of the compatible Chrome driver or browser driver executable, which is required for your browser versions to run. Okay, so in your browser, for example, in your Chrome browser, what is the version you have? 97. Point 0.4692.71 okay so when you use this statement guys web driver manager will detect in your machine the chrome browser is having which version it will find it out and accordingly it will automatically download the chrome driver compatible driver is good file for you that's what it will do guys you don't have to take any go to the website manually and uh, download it okay so this is the automatic way and the best way I can say, okay, rather than you giving the Chrome driver exe file and check after checking the compatibility and sometimes it goes wrong and will result in session not created exception. Instead of going to that case, if you use this kind of web driver manager, right, then it will take care of the things automatically. It will take care of the incompatible things and will take and uh, find out what, which one is compatible and all automatically, guys, you don't have to do anything. Simply run this code, you will see in the output, guys, in the Eclipse uh, output console, you will see what the web driver manager is doing. So you will see some number coming here for Chrome driver, which Chrome driver the web driver manager has picked up for our Chrome browser that is there in my machine. Let's see in a while. You see, you see, it has picked up Chrome driver version 97.0.4692.71 automatically. I didn't say that. Web driver manager knows that in my machine the chrome browser version is this one so it automatically downloaded this chrome driver version also which is compatible with my chrome browser version okay same version it has picked up so that's what is the advantage this is the simplest way of fixing this exception guys either you have to give the proper driver executable file version or just go with the web driver manager these are the two ways in which you can solve this problem
So hope guys you understood how to fix one of the Selenium exception types that occur during automation that is session not created exception. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.